It's Eclipse Day. It's Eclipse it's it's Day. It's <laughs> Day. Grab your glasses. Yeah. Uh, God, give us a sign that we're... <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Flat out the sun. So today, we're taking a look at the Valve Train Thunderball. Um, ooh, look, listen to that tuning after that, right? <laughs> That's custom. That's good. So last night we did a rig rundown with the Dead Daisies, and uh, Doug Aldridge, who's a killer player, was playing his last fall, and he's these crazy long bends. And for some reason, his guitar stays in tune, mine does not. But he's a much better player than me. That's probably why. <laughs> anyway, enough of that talk. Let's talk about this thing. The uh, uh, Valve Train, really cool company. Uh, Rick Esser's a kind of a genius amp tube nerd uh, who who set out to build the ultimate amplifier and he may have very well done it. This one is is based roughly on the um, on the Valco uh, Thunderbolt. And Valco uh, you may know made Supro back in the day. So but the the, the Valco this the Supros and the Valco the, those old ones not only are they a little old and grouchy but they're pretty limited. So what Rick did was some very cool additions to it. Number one, this sweet little baby right here, the Govna. The Govna, as you turn it up, your volume goes down and adds a little bit of compression. So that's, you know, a, a, to get that kind of tone out of, a, out of a Valco, you'd have to be just punishingly loud. Um, and don't worry, we'll punish you a little bit later on, Chris, but, but right now we want to. We're we're coming in not quite as hot. So um, the Valco, I believe, only had a tone and a volume. But he added the governor, which is great. Um, also, he added a bright switch, which I love. And then on the back, he has the. If you can see this, he has the triode and the pentode mo mode. And essentially, it takes it from, I think, from 35 watts to 17 watts. Uh, and this amp is really, really well made. What Rick does, he's, he goes old school, um, starts with great components, uh, wires them by hand, made in the U.S. And like a lot of companies, they'll have a great, they'll start with a great product, but then they'll, the accountants will get in there and they'll say, well, we can save like seven cents if we use this part instead of that part. And after a while, like the, the end product is unrecognizable from, from the prototype. But Rick, Rick is a real exacting guy. So uh, I'm a big fan. Not to sound like a shill or anything like that, but I do, I, I love his work. And this, this is just a very cool, old school amp, but made by somebody that really gives a shit. Uh, not that, I mean, and there's, there's, uh, this is a golden age of, of gear. Right? I feel like if Rick hasn't had a tagline for his company, I feel like that should be it. <laughs> a guy that gives a shit. <laughs> right, right, right. He is that guy. Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, well, I'm a little bit closer to doing tune, so let's see what this thing does, shall we? Yeah. Um, we're, uh, I'm running the, I'm running the governor quite a bit right now. Uh -huh. But as we roll it, well, let me keep it on for now. And you can see, when you turn that all the way up, very reasonable volume, like a bedroom, don't want to wake up anybody kind of volume. And you can crank your, your volume all the way up. using uh, because pedals are fun and I want to show how well this thing takes pedals it's funny some amps just do not take pedals well 
I've got like this old 64 vibro burp. Sounds great when you plug into it, uh, but it seems like the more things I put in front of it, the worse it sounds. Uh, this one, for whatever reason, I don't know what the science is behind it, maybe some of you amp nerds out there know, but for whatever reason, this thing takes pedals really well. And my vibro verb, much like the old Valco, doesn't have the governor. So the only way it sounds like an amp is if I'm just like punishingly loud. I played a gig the other night and it was just, it was one of those like, please quiet down kind of, you know, where they keep coming up and say, you gotta turn down. But I was so low, it just didn't even sound like a guitar. It was totally emasculating and hated it. Um, wish it had the governor, but then I'd have to jack with the vintage amp and I can't do that. So you get the idea. Uh, let me try, let me turn off the governor. Let's see what that does. Oh man, mercy. When you take that thing all the way out. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Why not, right? It's our show. We'll do what we want. We do what we want, man. Uh, although, you know what? Maybe should I put it on full before I switch? Now I'll switch. Yeah, let's just switch. Let's just switch. It's our. Oh, did I tell you anything else about this thing? I told about the governor. Told you about the. Uh, okay, rectifier is a 5AR4 slash GZ34. I don't know what that is, but I'm told. <laughs> It says that that thing is is uh, much like the Valco original. Um, other deals include, okay, aluminum chassis made in the U.S., high-grade aluminum. Um, uh, birch cabinet uh, made in America. I like that. Uh, switchable. Okay, talked about that. Well, let's, uh, okay, match set of 5881 duet power tubes. Uh, right there, I'm going to take it down to a little more. Oh no, hell, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the volume down a little bit so it won't be just quite so punishing. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, now we're gonna go flip it from trio to pento. <laughs> Nice, right? Turn out this governor. Kind of, you hear a little bit of compression. So check all that jazz and check out that dead daisies rig rundown that'll be up in like two weeks right because mm -hmm. uh when you hear uh doug and marco play they're just they are killer musicians so this is john bolger taking it out let's see what the drum machine's going to give us mm -hmm. 